the, the Burning Man is full of people who want to find solutions, who want to, to be uh, better persons, and, and it's a great place to have to meet people. I've been thinking about that a lot while I was here, actually. I think this could be an everyday thing. There just has to be some... I don't know, it really is a lifestyle. It's... We can brainstorm all together, and we can just, like in my camp, in the aqua zone, uh, everyone is so, so... I wish that people would take these principles into real life. I mean, it seems like people are just taking care of the quiet, and, you know, you're picking up trash, and you're trying your best not to leave any trace behind, and people are so respectful of the environment. It would be really nice if people were that way. Oh, yeah. like, uh, so eco-friendly, that's the word. Everyone is so eco-friendly and, and I am, but when I see, when I meet people like that, I realize that I am not enough. But I agree with you, people, I feel like take more care of the playa just because they know there's this, you come here and you want to take care of it, but I feel like a lot of people leave those principles behind. It's a good mirror. You know, and and may, I, I I hope when I will be back in Paris, I will I will keep it. I think we need to start doing something about the porta potties. Like my friends with Ecozoic have created these compostable toilets, and so actually last year I was saying in a loving way, like maybe we could create a garden for Larry, a rejuvenative garden on the new property at Fly Ranch of all of our shit. So we could take the compostable shit and we could make a garden. I think regardless of whether people um, are perfect at doing the whole sustainability and uh, self-reliance and all that, and I don't think anyone is, uh, there's a fair bit of consumption here and all that, even if you're doing really badly at it, it makes you aware of what you're doing at the very least. So even if you're here going, holy crap, I brought a lot of garbage and I've got so much waste I need to take home. And, and um, maybe also regulating like how many fire, fire burns we have, because they've just put up so much smoke. People might not be perfect, but it definitely makes them more aware Unless we can all get our shit together and get off of the fucking teat of the oil, Burning Man shouldn't be happening. I think that uh, Burning Man and the lovely human beings that run Burning Man try their best to fit it in. Um, I know that the participants are the ones that kind of make it a little bit more difficult for them. That being said, I'm going to continue to burn. We are the problem. Yeah, it's hard, hey. Like it's a, it's an event where they do such a, an amazing job with the leave no trace and the moop and, and things, and, and there's a real um, belief by everyone here about that, and, and people are really conscious about that. Um, but then on the up, opposite side of that, you've got huge fuel usage, and yeah, everything's done to excess, which is you know probably the American way in a way, um, and. Uh, you know, there's crazy art cars breathing fire and sound systems pumping and yeah, there's a there's a massive consumption of energy out here. Um, even though it's uh, it's probably the cleanest uh, gathering people I've ever seen. Like especially uh, if you compare it to festivals, which is probably not a fair comparison, but you know where people just chuck their rubbish on the ground and I don't think Burning Man has the answer. I think the world does, and we need to find it out there. Hopefully people take stuff away from them and take it to their everyday life. I know that after my first burn, I found myself picking up rubbish in the street as I walked past it um, in the city, which I typically wouldn't have done before then. Um, I would have just gotten off the train and walked straight to my office and just got on with my day. Um, but now if I see something on the ground, I'll pick it up, check it in a bin. Um, so those sort of little things definitely you take away from it. Uh, and there's some bigger things as well, and you learn a lot from the people here about you know, how you can do your part and, and what's involved. I've never had a place make me feel so good about myself and alive inside. And 
you know, in the default, every day I have to drive to work and sit in traffic for 35 minutes for a 10 minute drive. And I look at my freaking tachometer and it's, it's up there. It's killing fuel. It's something I do every day. So until we can get away from it in our everyday life, we, we can't just fix it at Burning Man. We have to fix it at in our real life. By the event going beyond the playa, burning 52 weeks a year and sharing that with friends and family to have sustainable practices, to, to leave no trace, to try to reduce our footprint on the earth because we don't get another one.